So how should uh, I size my volume? How big should my waffle volume be? Well, let's take an example. We'll create two 100 gigabyte LUNs, and this is the customer's uh, requirements. They're going to put two 100 gigabyte LUNs in the volume. They're going to create one snapshot per day. They're going to keep a week's worth of snapshots. 25 gigs of data is estimated to change each day in each LUN. So that's a total of five gigabytes per day that will change. LUNs should not go offline due to overwrites. That's an obvious requirement. We don't want our, you know, we want uptime. We want five nines. We don't want our LUNs going offline. And the storage controller that we're going to create this volume on has 500 gigabytes of available data, available space. If fractional reserve is set to 100%, and this is assuming um, the volume is guaranteed, and also assuming fractional reserve at uh, specifying fractional reserve at 100, the implication is that snap, uh, excuse me, LUN space reservation is enabled. Uh, fractional reserve is only able to be tuned, uh, or only effective on a LUN, I should say, when the LUN space reservation is enabled. This kind of configuration is what we sometimes refer to as full fat provisioning or thick provisioning. And the mathematical formula there to describe that is 2x plus delta, where x is the sum of the size of all volumes. Uh, and delta is essentially the sum of the size of all snapshots. If we set fractional reserve to zero, how does that change it? Well, first let's answer the first question. Um, 2x plus delta, in this case, is going to be approximately 435 gigs. Um, because 2 times the sum of the size of all LUNs, we've got two 100 gigabyte LUNs, so that's um, 2 times 200, 400, and then 5 gigabytes of a day of delta, and a 7 snapshots worth of delta, so it's 7 times 35. So 435 is approximately how big that volume would need to be to support two 100 gigabyte LUNs. You can see where that's not very storage efficient and why customers and why our uh, deployment guides generally are going to be guiding customers uh, towards using something other than that. So if we keep space reservation enabled but set fractional reserve to 0%, what are we going to do? Well. In this, in this case, it's simply x plus delta, not 2x plus delta. So here we're going to look at basically 235 instead of 435 gigabytes uh, for the flex wall. And is snap auto delete or vol auto size needed? Uh, I would say yes. I would recommend that you do enable both of those options because we're not guaranteeing at any given time that there are going to be blocks available to service client rights. Should the LUNs have space reservation enabled? Well, that's up to you. Um, depends on your requirements. Um, these days, that's generally not the way our storage is being utilized in the field. You're going to have space uh, reservation enabled, fractional reserve at zero, and then uh, you're going to enable snapshot auto delete and vault auto size. Some things you have to consider when you're sizing the volume. What size are the LUNs in the volume? Are you using snapshots? What is the fractional reserve setting? And what is the rate of change of the data? And some other things to consider, are you deduplicating your data? What is your deduplication space savings? And what does that do to the, uh, to the equation? Uh, that's a topic for another discussion. So now let's go down a layer in the um, storage abstractions uh, stack that we looked at early on in the presentation. We're going to create a 100 gigabyte volume in an 80 gigabyte ag aggregate. Now keep in mind, in order to do this, we have to set the, the volume space guarantee to none. Create a 90 gigabyte LUN with space reservation. The LUN create fails. Remember, LUN space reservation is going to make sure that the LUN uh, can be reserved. Now, uh, it is, ONTAP is smart enough to know that even though the volume is large enough to contain the LUN, the containing aggregate uh, is not able to do that. Create a 90 gigabyte LUN with no space reservation, LUN creation is successful. But if you try and write 90 gigabytes of data to the LUN, when there is no more space in the aggregate, 
the write fails and the one gets taken offline. However, keep in mind that the volume will stay online. And that concludes our presentation. Thank you.